So I'm here with Benoit Hewitt and Alex Hopman, and they're co-organizing a special issue on large-scale multimedia data collections. And so, guys, why is it so important? Well, um, in recent years, as more and more people are using multimedia and uh, on get collecting it on their iPhones and taking pictures and so forth, researchers are going towards trying to look at larger collections of multimedia and analyzing them and tr trying to see what they can do with them. And now we run into a bunch of problems. We need large collections, because otherwise whatever we do might not scale, and uh, they need to reflect what's out there in the real world. In, uh, in the past few years, Alex uh, Tatsang Chua, who is also our co-editor for this special issue, um, have run a couple of uh, workshops on the topic of large-scale multimedia retrieval, indexing, mining, and large collections. And during those uh, workshops, we have really realized a, a big shift in what, are the, what is the data that people are using. People have stopped using the Coral data set and moved on to really, I would say, big data sets such as, uh, for example, uh, ImageNet or uh, TrekVid data and also uh, NUSY, for example. Great. So who should read this special issue? Well, I think the special issue is uh, for people who are interested what kind of uh, data collections are out there and how are people approaching this problem with, of data collection? How are they um, collecting it? How are they releasing it? How are they labeling it? Great. It's, it's not just about images nowadays It's uh, or videos. It's about having those this data, the metadata, and the ground truth so that we can perform a lot of operation research on them. So how large is going to be large enough? I think that the answer to that seems to change every five or six years. Uh, it used to be that a couple of thousand images were considered large, and now if you have 100,000 images, people are not even interested. And the same goes for video collections. We have, we're now starting to see collections of 4,000 plus hours of video, and I bet you in five years that will be considered trivial. And it's not just the data itself that is growing, it's also what we have to, to, to do to perform with data. If you look at the latest TrekV additions, for example, we've moved to a, a few concepts to now hundreds of concepts. Great. Well, we're really looking forward to this special issue, and thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome.